iFragrance community, quick presentation on Hummingbird from Zoologist. This one came up to us in 2015. Perfumer is Shelley Waddington. Top notes are apple, cherry, citruses, lilac, lily of the valley, pear, plum, rose, and violet leaf. Middle notes, honey, honeysuckle, mimosa, peony, tulip, and ylang ylang. Base notes are coumarin, whipped cream, amber, moss, musk, sandalwood, and white woods. All right, for the bottle presentation, excellent. Uh, I love their, their casing with this because it's just, uh, it's, it's very protective and it does not move in this. Once it's, once the bottle is actually put in here, I mean, it is not coming out. You have to literally, literally pry it out. So very protective. Uh, the box is really nice. I, I love this presentation. It's very well built. And, um, you know, you can, if you want to put them in, you know, in a, in a way like to, to stack them and stuff or, you know, put them on your shelf, it's really nice to store, but there's your information on it. And this one's Hummingbird by Zoologist. This one is $125 for a 60 mil. The bottle is, is very, very well done. Like you saw in my bat review, the bottles are, are very nice. Uh, excellent just well you know the glass is really nice and thick it's almost like a nice crystal very heavy cap is actually wrapped in leather as you can see which is very nice you have the sprayer which I'll show you your spray real quick so good spray and there is presentation for hummingbird zoologist Hey smelly people, what's up guys? Uh, another fragrance review. Thank you so much again for all the support, watching my videos, I really, really appreciate it. Also, I'm gonna leave a link below. My fragrance group from Facebook is RiseFrags34 uh, Frag Talk, so hopefully you'll come join me there. A lot of great people, you can learn so much about fragrances and you know, check out Scent of the Days and Scent of the Nights and all that good stuff, so appreciate it. Um, getting out to this review though, this is Hummingbird from Zoologist. Excellent fragrance. Uh, a lot of people are gonna say it's gonna lean feminine. On paper, I definitely get that. On my skin, I think it works great. So please try them both. You know, I know when, when you're sampling, sometimes you just do that little paper shot and you're kind of taking some whiffs of it. Don't get me wrong, it does come off floral. But with my skin chemistry, this stuff is, is great. First spray, boom, I, I basically do two sprays, just one here and one there. That's all I need for the day. This stuff uh, really performs well, but I'll get into that. Uh, first initial spray, I'm going to get cherries, and, and I do get the whipped cream right away. I know it's not a note up top, but that's what I basically get. A uh, nice big bowl of, of, of nice cherries with the juices in there, but very smooth from that whipped cream, and that's kind of what I get. Uh, it dries down into this nice wood, you know, I get a little wood in there. Uh, you do get some honeysuckle and some honey, uh, and another um, great sweetness that's in there, but it's not too sweet. You know, a lot of people say... You know, uh, you know, too much tonka or too much vanilla. You know, a lot of that kind of sometimes gets a, a little bit cloying. You know, there's there's a very heavy sweet and winter that's fine. But this this is just an excellent fragrance that's not going to be too much of anything. You know, there's not it's not too citrusy, it's not too sweet, it's not too floral. I think all these you know uh, there's a list and list of of, of, of notes in this, a, a very big list. But the way they created it, um, you know, Waddington just did a brilliant job with the way this um, you know starts off dries down it's just a, a very good fragrance you know I want to bring up a, a friend of mine and one of my uh, you know in the Facebook uh, groups and stuff his name is Ken Friedman uh, excellent nose has an awesome awesome collection you know me and him have been kind of doing a lot of the vintage stuff and, and we both love that but you know he, he says he's never gotten so many compliments um, on a fragrance and, and the, versus this one I mean this one he's gotten the most compliments out of any fragrance I mean that's that's saying a lot, and that kind of just pushed me over the edge to actually pull the trigger on this as well, because I, I got my sample, I sprayed the piece of paper, and you know I was like, wow, this is just lilac, floral, you know, and, and then the next day I actually did, I sprayed it on and wore it, and I really loved it. A guy, you know, one of my, my buddies walked past me at work, and he's like, man, you smell good today. And you know, he didn't say I smelled like, you know, like a lady, or I didn't smell floral. He said I smelled good. You know, and that's basically, you just, this is just a really, really pleasing scent. Now, some of you, you know, on skin, it's, it's going to come off very feminine. So it might not work for you. I'm not saying this is a fragrance that will definitely work for every one of you. But for some reason, it comes off my skin just perfect. 
and I get compliments. I, you know, I just, I, I love the, the fragrance. You know, it's, it's blended very well. Like I said, not too sweet. You get some sweet florals in there, but I get a little bit more of a, a woody dry down, but I still get that creaminess, you know, that dead. And then the fruits in there are just, I know there's some pear and apple in there, and, but ugh, just all together, it's blended just so well. I just, I think it's a great fragrance, easy to wear. Summertime, hot, hot, 95 degree humidity days, it's powerful stuff. You know, this stuff projects for a good three to four hours for me, and I'm talking projects. That's maybe why we get so many compliments on it, is because people do smell you. You know, it's not that close to the skin. Lasts forever. I mean, if you spray this on your clothes, good luck, because a couple times washing them, you're still gonna smell it. And even taking a shower, you know, I, um, when did I, a couple days ago I wore it, I wore, uh, I think about four sprays. And of course I got a couple compliments, you know, I, I, was, I was smelling up the place pretty good. And, you know, even after my shower, I could still kind of smell it coming off my neck. So, and that's after scrubbing, you know, so the longevity quality juice uh, is just, it's, it's amazing performance. Like I said, longevity is, is, you know, 14, 15 hours plus, you know, so I, I just get that. But it's not that cloying, very heavy, you know, either, you know, it's just, that's what I'm saying. The, the blend is so nice. But again, I don't want to ramble on too much, just an excellent fragrance, but this is Hummingbird by Zoologist. I did get the new Beaver, and uh, that, that does seem a little bit more of a lighter musky, you know, so he, uh, he did change that a little bit. You know, I want to uh, pay props to, you know, Victor Wong, excellent house, great creativity. Uh, this is definitely a, just a niche, and the way I think of niche is just creativity, you know, like with, with Bat, just an awesome fragrance. But again, it's not going to work for everyone, but that's what I think niche is all about. I don't think niche is just better quality, but I think niche is, it, it kind of goes off a different road versus just very easy to wear. You know, that's, and that's what I love about fragrance, because there's, there's stories to be told with these fragrances, and, and to hear the perfumers talk about their certain fragrances is just amazing. Like uh, Waddington, she uh, uh, was on Sebastian's channel at Tiger Lily talking about Rainmaker, and the way she described it, it's like, wow, you're just kind of like in it, you know, it's just a... Uh, I just love the love this whole whole game. This perfumery game is, is pretty awesome. So, but again, thank you guys for always listening to me ramble. I, I apologize. I don't do the editing, and I know you got the, these reviewers out there are just awesome. They got great editing skills. They they don't ramble like me, and, and you guys probably get bored of me yapping. But thank you for taking the time to listen and uh, just try this one out. Again, maybe too feminine for some of you guys, but and a woman. This is perfect. I mean, this is a 10 out of 10 for a woman's fragrance. You guys will absolutely love this. Your husbands, boyfriends, significant others will love this on you because it is very sexy too. It's a very sensual fragrance, you know, so. But, uh, and I think all ages can wear it. You know, it's just a, it's a great, great fragrance. It's a fun fragrance and, and just smells great. So thanks again, guys, for everything and for always giving me your support uh, on this channel. And also check out, you know, uh, Rise Frags 34 Frag Talk on Facebook. It's a, it's a pretty cool group. We got some good, good people in there. So appreciate all your support. Again, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.